Everyone has heard that the supply of homes is the lowest it has been in decades. This low inventory combined with high demand has fueled record price increases. People often ask me, what is the reason for such a low supply of homes? Well, today I'm going to share some insight with you as to why there are so few homes for sale and why it is likely to remain so for some time to come. We are currently experiencing the lowest supply of homes I have seen since I started out in this business 24 years ago. Why is this? What's going on? Hi. I'm Lucian Valenquit, real estate broker and owner of Native Sun Realty right here in sunny Jacksonville, Florida. Now, unless you just woke up from an extended coma, you've probably heard about the housing shortage and skyrocketing home prices. This has been headline news for months. What you don't really hear is the reason for it. Well, here are what I consider to be the top three most significant factors that can help explain the short supply. I will present these factors in a chronological order and not in any order of importance because it's the synergistic effect of these forces interacting together that is responsible for the shortage. Number one, the pandemic. Now I know the pandemic has been the universal excuse and reason for every woe we have faced from a shortage of toilet paper to weight gain. But hear me out. When the virus first broke out, we were all told to stay home. No one had clear, concise information about how long it would last, what could be done about it, or what the future might bring. The country was locked down, plans were put on hold, and a feeling of uncertainty spread as fast as the virus. Homeowners were staying put and not selling. Certain parts of the country were more restrictive than others, and people began to migrate to less restrictive areas, like Florida. What is particularly interesting for housing is that while individual moves went up during the pandemic, family moves went down. This means that a family home remained occupied while individuals were out looking for a new home. This resulted in a surge of demand without a corresponding increase in supply. Number two, the short supply of housing. What I mean is that if a homeowner were to sell their home, they would now be trying to find a home to move to when there are very few homes for sale. I had a homeowner who listed their home for sale with me. We found a buyer in no time and had a sales contract in place with a closing date 45 days out. We immediately began searching for a new home. The seller quickly learned that there were no suitable homes available for him to buy. He canceled his contract and stayed in the home. There's more to that story, but you see the short supply of homes is in effect helping to perpetuate the shortage by discouraging homeowners from selling. Number three. Higher interest rates. Higher interest rates tend to curb demand by making homes less affordable to buyers. Most buyers base affordability on monthly payments, and higher interest rates mean higher monthly payments. In a normal market, that decrease in demand would result in an increase in supply. However, what we have now is not a normal market. Let me explain. Many homeowners today probably have a mortgage with a lower rate than they could get now. Yes, their home values have increased dramatically, but so did the value of the next home they're going to buy. This amounts to transferring the loan balance on their existing home to a new home, only with a higher interest rate. This means a higher payment for them as well. This problem is compounded for homeowners who took out a cash out refinance loan or have a home equity loan that must also be satisfied when the home is sold. Now you can see how higher interest rates can also serve to discourage homeowners from selling and further contribute to the housing shortage. Since rates are expected to rise throughout the end of 2022, I don't see this problem going away anytime soon. So what's the impact on home prices? Since the driving force pushing home prices higher is a short supply of homes, and that shortage will likely persist for some time to come, I do expect home prices to continue to rise, albeit at a slower pace, to the foreseeable future. My advice to homeowners thinking of selling, go ahead and put your home on the market. If it's in good condition, it will sell within a few days for more than you might think. With such a tight supply of homes, buyers are willing to be very flexible when it comes to taking possession of your home and may be willing to lease the home back to you and allow you time to find your new home. Then be prepared to face a tight inventory of available homes as a buyer. My advice to buyers, don't give up. Yes, we're in a very strong seller's market with prices on the rise. Think of a home as an investment asset. The time to buy any asset is when it's appreciating in value. It's better to buy now in a seller's market when prices are rising than to buy in a buyer's market when prices are falling. Makes sense, right? 
So if you've been thinking of buying or selling in this market, it's more important than ever to work with a professional to ensure a positive outcome. Give me a call at 904-994-0493 and we can develop a plan to get you into your new home with the least amount of stress and within your time frame. If you found this video interesting, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, share a comment about any experiences you may have had buying or selling in this crazy hot market. Other people may benefit from your experience and be better prepared when they jump in the fire. Thanks for watching. Until next time, this is Lucian Valancourt with Native Sun Realty helping you find your place in the sun.